it's time for us to talk nutrition. And uh, our state registered nurse, um, Akusia Kunedu Yadom, is here with us. And we're going to be discussing nutrition and hair. We're going to be focusing on ladies' hair today and ask you know, important questions as to what are the foods to eat that will improve hair quality, why do people have experience, you know, bad hair um, or, you know, breakages in hair and all of those things that happen to different people. Good morning, Akosia. Good morning, Kweku. How are you? I'm awesome yourself. All right, I'm good. Thank you. Um, I'm a nutritionist, the registered nutritionist. <laughs> Not did, I, did I say nurse? Yes. Oh, forgive me. Yeah. Well, it slips out like that. Yeah. So... Let's talk about um, the issue of hair. Hmm. What is it that, how is it that nutrition affects hair? Okay, so um, to start with, nutrition affects everything about us. We are what we eat, some will say, and then everything we eat has a way of influencing A, B, C through to Z. Mm. So it is very critical for us as um, people to be paying attention to everything we are putting okay. into our mouths or our bodies, yes. And so nutrition will influence on the hair, which sits on the head, which is part of the body. It will affect every other, uh, other part of the body, yes. Mm. And so once the hair sits on the head, okay. which is part of the body, yes, nutrition has a role to play. Mm. Now... What are some of the things we need to know in terms of what to eat that improves the quality of hair? I mean, I would imagine that you get your hair type from your DNA. So what mm -hmm. can you do to change that? What can you do to improve what you already have? Okay, so um, <clears throat> I would say that uh, there are various reasons which will lead a person to having a condition or, um, yes, a condition A, for, for example, alopecia areta is a form of hair loss. It's a hair loss condition. We have other mm. um, hair loss conditions. So for somebody, the problem has to do with hair scalp. For another person, it just has to do with the, the, the volume of the hair. It is lighter when it is supposed to be um, fuller. Okay. It, is, it is shorter when it's supposed to be longer. Yes, for some people, they crop their hair and it's taking them a decade to grow it back. Yes, mm. so you realize that you dig deeper and there are deficits or a deficiency in okay. A, B, or C. So to start with, I would say that eating a healthy and a balanced diet will make sure you have every goodness your body will need, including your hair, because if I am what I am eating, if yeah. you are what you are eating, then it means that Everything I am eating will have a way to affect my blood. Mm. It will have a way to affect the quality of everything that has to do with my head, my arms, every part of your body. And so once everything is, is satisfied, as far as nourishment is concerned, it means that you are doing your, your, your body some good. And mm. the focus is on hair. So I will stress on some, some nutrients. Protein is very good. Okay. Yes, we have plant protein. We have animal flesh and products. So whichever you are, a vegan or somebody who the get goes like us, whatever works for you. So for some of the protein foods, we have eggs, we have meat, we, we have cheese, we have the animal flesh and products. For some plant protein, you have the pulses, nuts, legumes, or seeds. Yeah, so... Make sure it forms part of your meal. What protein does is that our hair is produced from our hair follicles. Mm. So once it is um, um, improving or it is helping you to make um, healthy hair follicles, then yeah. it means that um, you, you, you are going to have healthy hair. Yeah, so that is what it does. You need protein to have a healthy hair follicle. Kweku. Mm. Yes. And biotin. You realize that most of the products, the hair products, they will say that, okay, so the reason why you should choose um, product A, especially with the relaxers, product mm. A over product B, they, they will go like, okay, so this is um, for the animal flesh and products. Yeah. We have eggs. Eggs are powerful. Yeah. We have fish. Fish, you just, you just don't get protein. You get omega-3 fatty acids. That looks then like salmon. I will go there. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. have cheese. Is it and not then salmon? <laughs> Ghana is tricky. <laughs> we have chicken. We have um, pulses, like I spoke about. We yeah. have nuts. We have seeds. So you realize that most of the iron-rich foods mm. on the top, the greenish one, I, is, I think it's turkey berry. So you realize okay. that 
anything that in, in, improves on, our, on your iron levels. Okay. Yes. They That's also good. pass for the protein, the mm. proteinous food. You have chicken. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so making sure this is part of your meal will ensure that you have a healthier hair follicle. Mm. And once your hair follicle is healthy, yeah. it means that it will affect the quality of your hair. And then I spoke about biotin. Yes, I said that most of the products will go like, okay, we have biotin in this, and biotin is very good. Mm. The reason why it is good is because it will help with the production of um, hair protein. This hair protein we call keratin. keratin. Yes, yeah. and so making sure you have um, 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 the hair protein, like you said, yeah. like we said, keratin, will make sure the quality of your hair the fullness, how nourished your hair is will be improved on. So these are some of the biotin-rich foods. Dairy products is still sitting here. Okay. Walnut, if you can't get walnuts like myself, mm. make sure you work with um, any of, 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 of the pulses, nuts, and seed yeah. um, 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 foods. We have um, um, almonds, if you can get it. If you can't, we have granites. Yes, so any, any, any um, um, pulse, legumes, mm. or uh, nuts, um, um, food you can find. We have carrot. You can find carrot. I spoke about almonds. We have yogurt. By God's grace, now two cities, you can even get yogurt today. <laughs> yes, so make sure you are getting enough of these. And mm. I wouldn't say munch on these. When you sometimes, it's very tricky picking certain foods out. And um, during our workshop, we came out. You tell people this is good, and they are... They are, they are beautifully abusing it. Mm. What we say is that you have to make sure these form part, part of, what of you your meals. Yeah. So if you are eating a balanced diet, it will satisfy, it will satisfy sorry, the four-star diet, which mm. means the staples, that's the carbohydrates. It is satisfying fruits and vegetables. Mm. And most of these things we spoke about, animal products, yeah. it's also part of the four-star diet, and pro, um, animal protein and products, sorry, and then fruits and vegetables, essential oils. If yeah. you are taking all these, it will make sure you are pumping a lot of some of these goodness into your system. Then the third one is the omega-3 fatty Sorry. acid foods. So what that one does, oil. When you apply oil to your skin, what does it do? It nourishes the skin. Yeah. So in the same way, we need to make sure our hair is nourished. Because you realize that sometimes we have that flaky scalp because our scalp isn't nourished. Okay. Yes. And then... We have to make sure that the hair isn't dry too. So okay. when your hair is too dry, sometimes you lose the, the hair. You mm. lose the thickness of the hair. You lose mm. the quality of the hair. So make sure these also form part of your meals. And I already said, if you are eating a balanced meal, everything yeah. will be satisfied. Now, just a quick one here. Um, as we're looking at the Omega-3, um, I know how... We, we human beings, we like quick fixes, hmm. you know. So, question. If <laughs> I take the omega-3 as an oil and I apply it directly to my hair, is there any benefit? There are people who do it. As a matter of fact, researching into this, I started, I laughed at a point because I was like, okay, that was why I saw them just open this at a saloon. Mm. At a very young age, the they, ladies come, they have all sorts of things. People say rice water is good. Okay. And I've used it even for my hair before I prepared it and took it to the saloon. I was like, use this to condition my hair for me. So I would say that, well, it's, it's, it's still evolving. People are still coming out with research, mm. but once you are eating and making sure these it's better are, to get it on the inside <laughs> yes once you are eating it once you are putting in there mm. the goodness will reflect for everybody mm. to to see yeah. yes so why don't you go that way but where they need to be a supplementation we can do it mm. depending on whoever your hairstylist i'm not a hairstylist <laughs> whoever your hairstylist is they can decide to adapt yeah. plan this plan that just to make sure your hair stays nourished mm. but make sure omega-3 fatty acid foods are are, are part of your meal coconut oil is also good it's blessed with essential fatty acid so just make sure you are keeping your hair well nourished because the omega-3 fatty acid and um, rich foods does a lot of wonders it makes the uh, the hair thickness the quality the length yes it's all influenced on the volume so you can see someone's hair and go like is this really your own hair mm. yes that's a person's hair yes okay. so it, de it depends on what we are eating where there is a deficit where you are not making much maybe it's time for you to analyze and see yeah. if you are doing things wrong okay. let us all start making these part of our meals and let's mm. see <laughs> okay so you know you mentioned earlier on about dairy products yeah. right 
is there a preference for say dairy over pulses and nuts? What 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 I I I I I'll preach or what health um, caregivers we preach is a balance. Okay. In everything. So you need some dairy, but you also need some. You need everything. Um, so when you when you take well. even the food pyramid, let me just bring it in. Sure. When you take the food pyramid, on the apex, that is a pyramid. On the on the apex, on the bottom, it's um, the staples or yeah. the carbohydrates. Okay. So you have bread, you have oats, you have um, wheat, you have rice, everything at the base. So it mm. means that on your plate, these whole foods yeah. are supposed to occupy. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so you need about six to eight um, um, servings. That's very technical. Yes. So it means that it should be the the biggest. Yes, and then followed by um, fruits and vegetables. Then you go to animal flesh and products, mm. all the way to the apex where you have um, um, fat, sweet, alcohol. Okay. Yes, yeah, so apex means that it should be the least. Okay. Yes. So as far as your your, the your volume your, of the meal is as concerned, as far when you take the, yes when you okay. take your twenty four um, hour dietary recall, you should make sure that it is the least. Sometimes I can do it once even in a week. For instance, Saturdays, Kweku, we decide to go sit somewhere, maybe take a shot or two. Yes, for somebody who is so, who is so into al alcohol, it's difficult taking certain things from certain people. So you just have to cut it down drastically. How can you survive in Ghana if you don't do much of the staples at the bottom? Mm, how, mm. How, how will you survive? Yeah. So we have to make sure there is a balance. This to that that to that and using the food pyramid as as spoken about here i believe that we are be, we we can be guided on how to make sure we we let a b c sit mm. on our plate and i've spoken extensively about the four star diet so make sure it is all part of your meal and everything will be satisfied but obviously certain conditions before we started you were asking me about it sometimes our age if you are so stressed out it can even affect the mm. quality of your hair. Yeah. Yes. And for some people, as they age, in our country, when people rise to higher positions, they begin to lose their hair. <laughs> I don't know what is linked to Yeah. So, so take, take us into that space as well. So we understand actually what's going on here and how, how nutrition and lifestyle can help us to maintain good quality hair. Oh, as in what space? Yeah, in the in the space of you get you find people oh, okay. getting into stressful jobs and then they start losing their hair, they start you know growing faster and so on and so forth. So how how do we mitigate these things? How do we make sure that even as we are, we find ourselves in a stressful job, high pressure situations, um, we still maintain reasonably good hair? Okay, so a good a good way to address this is to make is address this is to make sure you are eating well. Okay. And once I know that okay, my breakfast is something healthy, then I know that a um, my it can a can be compensated mm. can be compensated for yes. For instance, um, Kweku, let me take you for for example, as early as let's say seven a.m. you have to be here. And probably you aren't um, somebody who would want to take breakfast 6 a.m. before coming yeah. to the office. So this means that the time you're supposed to have breakfast, you are in studio mm -hmm. having a discussion. You close and then you probably would have other things to take care, um, take care of. So one, once you're done with the show, breakfast has to come in. Mm. And then you make sure you are okay. eating something healthier. When you go home, you have to adjust and make certain health um, and healthy lifestyle changes to make sure you are satisfying your body too because i'm always like if you are busily looking for money and you fall down today somebody would have to enjoy that money so mm -hmm. make time for yourself make sure you distress there are people who take days off work just to go and chill you need to take care of yourself you need to eat well you need to make sure you are constantly hydrating your body just keeping your body going yeah. and make sure you are inculcating some of or making sure your on your plate has um, some of these goodness we've spoken about. Mm. I came across um, cayenne pepper, funny enough, okay. and it says that it ate pepper, ginger, they all ate in blood circulation. Yes. So once your blood is circulating well, you are mm. making sure that you are constantly um, doing well as far as your circulation, your blood circulation is concerned. It makes you Yes, um, um, have relaxed a relaxed body, which 
can also affect, affect your scalp. Yeah. So once you have a relaxed scalp, it, may, it makes the work of the other uh, other parts of your of your of your hair, as far as um, hair follicles, um, yes, is is, is concerned, and mm. that will um, um, in a, in a nutshell in a whole affect the quality of your hair. So yes, once you are aging, you may not be able to do much about it. Mm. Your family history too, if every man in your family <laughs> or every woman in your family will need to go through that, then yeah. it means that you need to, to be supplemented where necessary. There are women who lose their hair when they hit their, their menopause. Mm. So for some family um, 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 members, you may not get away with it because this is what is in a bloodline. Your age, yes, and then when you are losing weight too much, we are encouraged not to be big, but too much of everything too is bad. You can't lose the, your body to the, to the point where you fall off the normal um, um, BMI. So where you are underweight, that's why you have a lot of the malnourished children losing their hair. Mm. So when malnutrition okay. sets in or you are too undernourished, it can affect the quality of your hair too. Mm. So let's get things right. And when you need help, just consult a professional. I'm here for you, CT. <laughs> yes, yeah, so talking about being available for our viewers, how can they contact you? Okay, so on Instagram, nutritionist A. Akosia, and then on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, a, a nutritionist Akosia. And then you can call me on 243 35 0206. All right, so that's a uh, state registered nutritionist, not nurse, uh, but <laughs> nutritionist, uh, Akosia Kunedu Yadon. We've been talking about nutrition, and the focus was on hair, ladies' hair. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.